Berkey and uh, A.N. Marlow and G.R.S. Mead, each of them says that Pythagoras went to India where he learnt his philosophies, knowledge and other things from. These are not Indic people saying this. These are Western sources saying these things. So Pythagoras was a gentleman who came, a suggestion that he learned in southern India. When Pythagoras went back to Greece, he was called a madman because he had become a vegetarian. They said he only ate nuts, fruits, corn and these kinds of things. And people said, there's something crazy with this guy, not eating meat. He also started a Gurukulam style of school. This Gurukulam style of teaching was inherited by his successors, Socrates, Plato, as well as Aristotle. All of them followed the same uh, Gurukulam style of teaching. You need to ask a question, why did Pythagoras even come to India? How did he know that India was a source of knowledge? If we go even further beyond Pythagorean time frame, we look at the similarities in the Greek stories and the Indian Puranic stories. There's enormous, enormous overlap in these two stories, hinting much more ancient contact.